Hey what's up everybody, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to back up the EFS partition on your Galaxy S6. Now the EFS partition on modern Android phones is home to the unique IMEI for your device, which is essentially an identification number that lets you connect to mobile networks. But sometimes, when you're flashing ROMs or restoring backups in custom recovery, the EFS partition can become corrupted, which will prevent your phone from connecting to any type of mobile network. If that ever happens, it's extremely difficult to fix, so you might actually be left with a paperweight for a phone essentially. So really, backing up the EFS partition is probably one of the first things you should do immediately after rooting your Galaxy S6. But existing EFS backup solutions aren't necessarily compatible with the Galaxy S6, so the trouble becomes where to find an app that will do the trick. Well, developer Wanum is always up to date on all things Samsung, and his EFS IMEI backup app already works perfectly with all models of the Galaxy S6. To get this one going, you'll obviously need to be rooted, otherwise there wouldn't be much need to back up your EFS partition. But beyond that, just head to the Play Store and get the app installed, or if you're having trouble finding it, you can use the link in step 1 of my full tutorial on Gadget Hacks. Now when you first launch EFS Backup, the app will ask for super user access, so tap Grant on the pop-up. From here, the app has a pretty easy to use interface. First up, make sure the internal storage option is checked so that the backup will be saved to the proper folder on your device. Next, deselect the tar.gz option, then select the tar option instead. This will make it easy to restore the backup with Odin in case you ever need it. After that, tap the Save EFS button, and within a few seconds, you should see a toast message saying that the backup was successfully saved to a folder on your SD card. So at this point, you're good to go. If you want to be extra safe, you can transfer the backup file out of the EFS backups folder on your SD card and over to your computer for safekeeping. Then if your EFS partition ever becomes corrupted, you can simply restore the backup with Odin on your PC. So you no longer have to worry about losing your IMEI data, and backing it up was about as easy as it gets. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking!